Hello everyone, this is Telemachus and today we're gonna check out a brand new tool called Villain which essentially is a Windows and Linux backdoor generator and multi-session handler that allows users to connect with sibling servers, meaning other machines running this tool, and share their backdoor sessions, which is handy for working as a team. The main idea behind the payloads generated by this tool is inherited from Hoxel, and if you don't know what that is, you can just go to this repository and check it out. In this diagram, I explain a little bit what is like uh, the blueprint behind this idea, which is stupid simple, or just stupid, also very possible. Anyway, uh, this tool is pretty easy to install, you just need to clone the repository and then install the requirements.txt using pip. Make sure to also read these important notes here, maybe a few things about the approach, there's also a user guide somewhere. Uh, and that's pretty much it, let's check it out. So, I'm on a fully updated Windows 10 Pro box. I just checked for updates minutes ago. Windows Defender is up and running with every option turned on. And let's check this out. I'm gonna start villain. No arguments, nothing. Uh, this core server that started automatically on 65001, port 65001, is the, is, the, is the server responsible for communicating with other instances of this tool. This Hoxel engine is like the command and control, let's say, you wanna be server on running on port 8080. By default, you can change that with arguments. I'm not gonna do this now, not important. So let's generate the backdoor and execute to see what's happening here. So I'm gonna use the command generate OS equals let's do Windows first. L host equals you can put your IP here. I prefer to, to, to pass the interface I'm interested in. And if I hit click enter, you will see that um I can see the shadow of the generated payload. It's also copied straight to my clipboard. Uh, but before we run this, I want to show you one more attribute you can add. There's a few more, but this is important. It's uh, obfuscate. Basically, it's going to automatically obfuscate the payload. And uh, you will never get the same payload a second time. You can see here I generated a lot of variations. For example, here you can see uh, it's pretty much different every time. And this is uh, an attempt to bypass uh, uh, Windows Defender and other AV solutions, of course. So let's summarize here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just grab one, start PowerShell. Let's let's say this is our execution point. I'm gonna paste this in, execute, and we can see that we have a cell, a backdoor cell session, let's say, on this machine, my ho my Windows host. Uh, you can see that this payload is starting as a new process and uh, on, a, on a hidden window, so it's somewhere in the background. We don't really need this. We can close it. And if I do sessions now, which lists my active sessions, I can see I have a session on this machine. It's a Windows machine. Uh, this is the host name and the user. It's owned by me because, as we said, we'll see later that we can share uh, backdoor sessions with other instances of this tool that we're going to connect with. So let's let's see the command execution part. I'm gonna do another command which is called cell, and I'm just gonna pass the session ID here, and I get a pseudo, like a hoax cell, let's say, uh, cell, and I can just run commands, let's user, whatever, let's do something harder, system info, so, Yep, that's, that's it. Let's say I'm gonna hit Ctrl C, go back to villain prompt, uh, and see. Let's uh, let's check out the connect part now. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna generate one more backdoor session. This time I'm gonna do this with Linux host equals this, and I'm gonna poison my own machine. This is from another test. Let's just paste this here. And now I have another backdoor session. I do sessions. I have two sessions that are owned by me. So I have another Kali uh, VM running here. I'm going to start villain again. And I'm going to connect to this machine. This, this machine has no sessions. And if I do siblings, which is a command to list the, the servers I'm connected, other instances of villain that I'm connected with, I can see I'm not connected with anyone. And here also the same. So it's pretty easy to connect. You just type connect and you need to give the IP of the server you, go, you want to connect. And this is not the IP, it's this. And the port of the core server that's by default started on port 65001 here. 
And if I do connect now, you will see that this machine received a request to connect from this machine and I, I'm prompt with a challenge to type this random number and I have 10 seconds or the request will be denied automatically and here it is, it was denied. But let's accept this, let's become siblings and work together. 36, 7, 9, 5 and we are synchronized and if I do siblings now I can see that I have the sibling with host name please subscribe and it's this machine right here Kali and please subscribe and this machine also can see his other sibling which is Kali root at Kali so what we see here is they synchronized and this server that had no sessions has now two additional cell sessions established and if I do sessions I can see that Kali is the owner of two sessions and I can interact the same way with any session I choose is this Windows? yes so on the user you can see that the command is delivered for execution because now it has, be, it has to be forwarded to this machine before it gets executed and after it's, it's getting executed the output is forwarded back here so that was an example. Uh, another cool thing you can do is you can uh, execute the scripts from your file system against a, se against a session. Let's try this. I believe I have for testing in my root. I have power up and I'm going to run it. Well, what was the session? Windows starts with A. So I'm going to I'm going to execute power up from my file system against this session. You can do this also from sibling servers. It's gonna take some seconds for it to complete. Oh, here it is. I even have a finding. <laughs> I'm vulnerable. Whatever, okay. So let's get a cell session here now. Let's generate was equals Windows and host equals zero. And this is not gonna work. Let's obfuscate and once more. Let's run our payload and we're going to get a cell session and we can see now that, okay, this machine got, got its backdoor, but also this machine is informed, hey, backdoor session established on this machine owned by Believe Subscribe. And now I can see in my sessions that I have two self-owned sessions and one that is foreign and I can just, you know what, I can just execute commands to this foreign uh, for session the same way as we saw before. So now that we have many sessions, okay, let's generate one more because I like to live on the edge. OS equals Linux. Let's do Linux this time. I'm going to execute it here. Again, we were informed, hey, your sibling brother got another session. I don't know what he's doing. He's a hacker, but he's doing well. So we have four sessions and now these are cell phone here on this machine. And these two belong to Kali. Let's bring a third sibling in here. I have a third Kali <laughs> VM running here. I'm going to start villain again. And I'm going, uh, before we connect it from this machine to this machine, so I'm going to connect from this machine, let's say to this one. Uh, what is the IP of this machine? I wonder. It's this. So let's do go here let's do connect this 65001 we send a request to connect i have to solve the challenge 361 we're synchronized here i can see one additional sibling server connected here i can see one additional sibling to this one that we connected just now and four additional cell sessions were established so we're connected and let's see siblings this server now has two siblings please subscribe and kali and it has four sessions without doing nothing it just shared them from these guys and these guys of course can see they will all have two siblings because there are three servers here and needless to say this fellow here can do everything the other the other guys did before you can execute commands Blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty much it. It has a few more things you can check out, help, and there's a, a, a few things to explore more. But this is the main idea behind this tool. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to use it. And thanks for watching.